Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Sorry if you hear any background noise. My washer's going. My bedroom is right by the washer. So yeah, but we have our like part one of our empties. So this is going to be my makeup empties because it's been too long since I have done one of these and I have gathered two gallon bags worth of makeup that is a lot and I have tons more of like skincare body care hair care all of that stuff that'll be coming it'll be one of my next videos so stay tuned for part two of this but today we have the makeup portion it is also like super hot in my bedroom so we may get really sweaty during this but let's start off with like eyes and lips which is this bag right here now some of this may be because i've used it all or it's expired or you're no longer able to purchase it or i just never used it and it's expired that's why it's in here if there these products are still available i will have them linked down below like i do with all my other videos so let's just jump right on in and Let's start off with all of May these makeup sponges. Now you're supposed to replace them every three months, and that's what I do. These three are the uh, Beauty Bakery beauty sponges. Now I still use the green ones, but these ones, I have so many makeup sponges that I rotate that these the pink ones are not my favorite, so they're getting a toss. The OG Beauty Blender. I don't even remember when I purchased this, so that's how you know it is time to go. But I don't really purchase the original like Beauty Blender brand because I have found so many amazing dupes that I just go for the dupes. Some of the dupes that I have. I would use this in conjunction with the original Beauty Blender um, for powder. That's pretty much why I like this one. This is the Eco Tools sponge. Like these are just so hard and cakey and disgusting. Like it's time for them to go. This is the Real Techniques. I forget the exact name of it, but it's not the like one that I actually have two of over here that I don't really want to grab but this one it's like it's a denser sponge and it's a little more porous it's not as soft so go with the original this one not my favorite and then I think my actual favorite beauty sponge the wet and wild one I just love everything about it like the way it's shaped the fact that it's cruelty free i'm just obsessed with this and it's super soft so in total i'm getting rid of seven sponges i used up a five pair set of the ardell wispy lashes now would i repurchase these ones no my favorite are the salon perfect 110s those are the ones that I get in like the bulk. These, however, I don't know. I don't even remember what these lashes looked like. I don't ever wear lashes anymore, so. Yeah, I'm just pulling random things out of the bag. Essence Make Me Brow in the shade Softy Brownie Brows. This was great for one of my e.l.f. brow pencils because it is like a lighter shade so if I got like too dark of a brow pencil I would lighten it up with this shade I like the the darker shade of this I really like this is a great tinted brow gel and I have recommended it to people I've worked with and just people in general Tarte lip surgeons in the shade wonder this is like a tinted it's a lip cream um it was like my go-to shade in the summer when i got it nikki philippi actually loved that and that's what kind of got me into it 
it's just so old and I don't even think you can get that specific shade anymore. They do have lip surgeons, just not that shade. Another thing that you aren't able to purchase is this lipstick from Essence in the shade Porcelain Doll. It is like nude. If I wanted a nude lipstick, this is the lipstick I would go for. My go-to combo was with this would be NYX Peekaboo Neutral Lip Liner with um, this on top and then topped with the Essence Liquid Lipstick, the nude one. That was kind of pretty much like a, a gloss, but they don't sell that anymore. I actually have it right here. This, I would top it off with this lip gloss. Like it's technically a liquid lipstick um, from Essence. Don't even know the shade. They don't sell it anymore, but that was like my perfect nude lip combo. I have a Revlon Matte Balm in the shade Elus Elusive. I used this in my R5 concert Get Ready With Me, which I want to say is like my top viewed video on my channel. I really do like the formula of these. I'm not entirely sure if they still sell this, but I really like the formula so much that I have a total of three shades. Didn't realize they were all in here. Um, so Elusive, it's this like neutrally pink. This bright ass orange is in the shade Audacious. Like the formula has changed on this and it's been a while since I've had these. And then this bright ass pink is unapologetic right there, like neon. Another lipstick lip crayon type product that I have is the ColourPop Lippy Sticks in the shade Creature. They do not sell this shade anymore. And I'm really sad about it because this is like my favorite fall lip color. I used this in a fall get ready with me a few years ago. I'll have it linked down below. I wish that they still made that shade. I have this Maybelline lip liner. It's a clear one. Why I got a clear lip liner? Not entirely sure. I think I like read something where it's like anti-feathering. It'll help it so that your lipsticks don't bleed and this is before I got it, really got into like lip liner. First starting off my makeup collection. Love this liner. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. It's a liquid eyeliner in the shade Voltage Blue. It's a beautiful blue liner and it's like $2. A mascara, finally. The Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. This may be my all-time favorite high-end mascara. This is just a travel size. I have a NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in the shade Pink Lust. I don't think, I think I've worn this shade once. It's neon. These are a good formula. Are they my favorite? No. Do I still wear them? Yeah. I have a Wet n Wild lipstick in the shade Mochalicious. Again, a great fall lip color. This just needs to go way too expired. And like you can tell just by swatching it, the formula has changed. This is the Essence Make Me Brow Gel that I love. This is in the shade Brownie Brows. I really like this. Um, if I just want to use a tinted brow gel, this is the shade I'll go for. Oh, I've also used up a ColourPop Brow Boss Gel. It was a good brow gel. This is my ultimate favorite. I don't know. It's been a while since I've used this, but it was a good brow gel. It has one of those like tiny little wands. This brow pencil. First of all, it is way too light. Second of all, you get zero pigment. It is super waxy. Um, it's one of the wood brow pencils. For the price, do I recommend it? No, because e.l.f. makes one 10 times better for the same price. This I really just needed to get rid of. I'm glad I did. It's definitely like not good anymore. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Pencil in the shade Perversion. 
everyone used to like rave about this eyeliner on YouTube and I have found things way better that I've actually tried before I tried this one and the fact that it's like one that you have to sharpen it's not my favorite I have this wet and wild eyeshadow palette in the shade the naked truth I think I have a whole video on this the shadows wet and wild shadows are just incredible to begin with but never use this palette it's kind of old never use these shades i don't even know what i was thinking like this crease shade has gold flecks of glitter i do have other wet and wild palettes that i have videos on on my channel so i have this hikari shimmer bronzer in the shade radiate first of all packaging fell apart got this in an ipsy bag one of my first ipsy bags when you mix them together it's just like a shimmery mess i put it in like with eyeshadows i think i would use it as an eyeshadow because these two shimmer shades are pretty they're gorgeous but like they're the exact same so I just don't see the point in keeping this. Plus, since the packaging broke, I think it dried out the product. This is the NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder. This is disgusting in the shade Blonde. This was a perfect shade for me. I would mix the shades and like a tip with this, if I mix like a few drops of like eye drops in with it, get it like a bit like a Palm, make my own pomade out of this brow powder brows a few more mascaras in here wet and wild mega length i've just never found a mascara that i like from wet and wild even though like bristle wise but the effect of this mascara i really liked it ulta ultimate lashes mascara really did like this mascara it's like an hourglass wand use this at the beginning of this year and i'm now just barely putting it into an empties video this essence volume stylist mascara i want to say i put this in a dupes video is it a dupe no i'll have that video linked down below where i dupe this video with dupe this mascara hopefully it's already up i don't know which video i use this but and it wasn't even like my favorite mascara and then the Too Faced Better Than Sex again one of those hourglass bristles I would layer this as like my voluming mascara on top of the Tarte Lights Caramel Lashes mascara perfect combo a little expensive but great oh one more mascara the Seraphine Chemicals mascara it was not a good mascara super dry and it stinks i have another one of the clear maybelline lip liners um the chella ivory lace highlighter do you guys remember this i want to say this when christy better was like still in high school or like just barely starting college it's like a concealer shade that you would use underneath your brows i don't clean up my brows some eye primers the nyx eyeshadow base this was like my first ever eye primer it's still got life to it but definitely had it for over 18 months and i've like barely made a dent in it i prefer just using concealer save you some cash and it works just as great this is the maybelline master prime long lasting eyeshadow base the prime and smooth one it was an interesting eye primer to say the least it kind of reminded me of like the urban decay one or like the elf two dollar eye primer i just realized that my camera cut out and i don't know where but let's talk about liners this is the jordana fabu liner it was a pretty good liner um it just has a really stiff tip it's like a pen tip is it the blackest no another felt tip liner oh my gosh this is my favorite 
this is my all-time favorite like pen tip liner it's dried up kind of at this point this is the Ciate London fierce flicks liner my favorite like of this type of liner I have a nude liner this is the Rimmel scandalize so dried up never used it actually yeah, I did when I like competed this has to be my all-time favorite liner I want to say it's just so old this is the it cosmetics no tug waterproof gel eyeliner but it's one of the blackest liners ever and it stays on your like tight line I love this and like when it's actually fresh it is super creamy and a lot of these like travel size products that you guys are seeing I've gotten in my ipsy bags which is a great way to try out products I always have a link down below to where you can purchase ipsy because I love it it's how I try out like a lot of the makeup eyebrow pencils I have four five I think I actually have some in my yep I have some more in my like everyday makeup that still has a little bit in it oh, he's such finish that up tomorrow this is the elf brow pencil I was talking about the it's just like the two dollar eyebrow pencil this one is in the shade neutral brown it's a little bit dark for me but this is one of my all-time favorite brow pencils like affordable affordability wise that and the one that has like a fine tip to it that'll probably be my next empties actually no this one the ultra precise brow pencil from elf both of them are amazing i have a ColourPop brow boss eyebrow pencil in the shade light brown bought this as a duo with the brow boss gel it was a good brow pencil maybe i'll repurchase it again i don't really know uh this wet and wild one lost the lid to it I do not recommend this brow pencil it's the ultimate brow micro brow, brow pencil from wet and wild it broke super easily didn't even use it for a full week and it was it's gone and then the covergirl ultra fine brow pencil this is in the shade honey brown it was actually a pretty good shade you would think because it's honey brown it'd be like more of a warmer brown but it's actually a pretty cool tone it was a good brow pencil lip products i'm gonna go through these super fast i have finding ferdinand lipstick in the shade rose gold i never used it never will it's old and then this noya lipstick in the shade smoke it just reminds me of like halloween makeup even though it's a pretty color like i have colors similar to it it smells like halloween makeup not something i want to be wearing on a daily basis this is one of my all-time favorite lip products bought a full size of it this is the tardis lip paint in the shade rose love it to death got a full size of it stays on a long time pretty much um next quick fuete in the shade cocoa bean i loved adding this on top of a lip liner as like a hydrating in a way lip color it's right there i really liked it i don't know if they still sell it but it was just getting way too old three more lip products and then we can go on to the face products a baby lips in the shade peach kiss it was, i would use this as a base you can't even see the swatch that i did mix it with this this is the maybelline color whisperer in the shade 05 go nude can't even see it but they were just like my 
this was my first ever lip nude lip combo before i really started getting into makeup that's how long i've had them and then the covergirl kitty cat matte in the shade cosmo kitty the purple purple lipstick it makes your teeth yellow however it is a beautiful like i really got into like the crazy lip colors little one bag down now on to the face products i have like 15 minutes left to do this so let's hurry go through this real quick Maybelline Dream, B Dream Pure BB Cream Ten in One Beauty Balm in the shade 110 Light Medium Sheer Tint. Loved this, especially for those like no makeup makeup days. If you're looking for a good uh, drugstore BB cream, really like that because I mean it doesn't have any SPF in it, but it is good for you acne prone gals and guys out there. Um, the CoverGirl Professional Loose Powder in the shade Translucent Fair. Not my all-time favorite powder just because it did have a little bit of a tint to it. But it was a good powder. I like smoothing out pores. I have a Wet n Wild Photo Focus 3-in-1 Primer Water, the rose one. I really like this. I have, I actually have two in here. I'm on my third. I love this stuff much is it good for making your makeup last a while no but it's good to like help all the powders sink into the skin and let make it look a little more skin like i have the morphe continuous setting spray again it's perfect for settling those powders into the skin making it look more like skin but how long longevity it's been a while so couldn't really tell you. The Wet n Wild Makeup Mist and Set. Again, good for settling the powders. I haven't used this in a while, but would I repurchase it? No. I have a mini size of the Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer. I got another sample of this and I have the full size. It's great as like a makeup starter to like help bring glow to the skin if you're going to be adding a lot of matte products just so that your face doesn't feel sucked up a tarte shape tape concealer i get mine in the shade fair i'm on my second bottle of this one of my all-time favorite concealers the nyc smooth skin loose face powder this is not my favorite not good to bake with it like takes away your concealer leaves a flashback but this was like the f one of the first powders that i ever got your nyc um new york color is no longer in business so you can't even purchase it the it cosmetics bye bye pores pressed airbrush silks press anti-aging finishing powder I'm not a huge pressed powder person um, but if you are I do recommend this one of my OG favorite products the elf bronzer palette the shade bronze beauty I've had this forever it's busted um, I want to get a new one just because I love this and this bottom shade it came with a cool tone shade um and that's what i would use to contour my face with bronze with all the other colors it's a great product um this this is from like the wet and wild and fergie collection it's in the shade it's the wet and wild fergie center stage collection uh shimmer palette in the shade rose gold and goddess it is dried. I would use it as like a blush. This isn't even available. Wet n Wild has to be one of my favorite makeup brands. I have the Hard Candy So Baked Bronzer in the shade Tiki. Got this as a highlighter. It's not like a highlighter that I personally like, but it is a good like all over 
glow powder it's kind of like what i use the essence pure nude highlighter for I use it on the elf powder brush just a light layer over my light layer over my face so that i don't look so matte and flat from other from other powders i have a travel size of the kat von d translucent setting powder it was a good powder would i repurchase it i don't know it's not one of those powders where i was like well like no it was a really good it was a pretty good powder i just have other powders that i need to get through i have an ulta a two of the ulta finishing powders like press setting powders of the one in translucent and the one in banana this is a super soft powder they're both super soft powders I never use pressed powders. The a mini says the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I've purchased a full size of this. It, I actually see a difference in the longevity of my makeup with this, so I do recommend this. This is like my all-time favorite foundation, drugstore-wise. They discontinued it. It's the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous fresh complexion oil free foundation in the shade classic ivory i love this it made my skin like look like skin even though i did have makeup on it i have two of the wet n wild photo focus foundations in the shade porcelain and soft beige they did not have my shade um when i first purchased it so i got the one lower and the one above it mix them together to make my perfect shade it's a good foundation. I do have my shade in it. I have a mini size of the Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer. Not my favorite. I want to repurchase it. I have the Temp 2 Smoothing Base Smooth and Matte Primer. Temp 2 is an airbrush system. I get some other products in my ipsy bags not my favorite didn't really use it i have the elf i want to say this is the hd lifting concealer in the shade fair this is not a fair concealer i was able to use it on blemishes when i have like more of a tan skin doesn't have the best coverage super lightweight but it's like three or four dollars but their camo concealer is a great concealer if you are looking for a concealer to try from elf the poreless face primer from elf this broke me out and it's like it doesn't even it's not even like a poreless primer it just feels like oily and slippery do you like the mineral face primer clear one that one is a good one and it will actually fill in the pores smooth out your skin oh that jazz we're down to the last few products so let's go in like the order that we would apply it primer touch and soul no pore bloom primer wasn't the biggest fan of this but if you want something like a the way that this felt on my skin reminded me a lot of the uh, photo focus water drop primer from wet n wild so if you want that type of smoothing primer in a high-end version i would do this but i personally like a pore filling primer like a silicone based one foundations have repurchased these both born this way too faced and ultra hg makeup forever these are two of my favorite foundations have already repurchased love um i have this powder again color girl discontinued this line but this is the already set gorgeous powder um reminds me a lot of like the blue packaged powder like this so yeah bronzer i have this mini size from bare minerals in the shade the skinny dip a super warm bronzer right down there never reached for it even though i did hit pan on it because this was one of my first bronzers this because i think i got it for free and the elf bronzer palette those are my two favorite two first bronzers I have the e.l.f. blush in the shade Candid Coral. I have duped this. I have had this forever. What e.l.f. does have some good blushes. This highlight from e.l.f. 
not my favorite it's the big highlighter in the shade moonlight pearls it's like not a good texture to work with it's just not my favorite that was all of my makeup empties again stay tuned for all of the skincare hair care body care all that fun stuff um in an upcoming video Follow me on all my social medias, which is at SassyMaddieYT, so it's spelled here, both Twitter and Instagram. Go shop my brand and follow my brand, Sassy Beauty. Links will down, be down below, as long as, as well as links to the products that are still available to purchase um, for all the products that I've mentioned. And with all that being said, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.